Hello everybody, welcome back to a new What I Wore in a Week. I thought I would just check in with you because it's been a little while since I uploaded a video. I had a week off, I feel very refreshed. And yeah, it's nice to be back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I've also just added in a cheeky Zara haul into here as well, because there were a few bits that I posted on Insta stories and you guys were like, I want to see those. So there's just like a tiny mini little segment where I show you some other bits, but I'm also wearing them throughout the week as well. But yeah, that's it for me. Enjoy the video. Okay, in episode one of Susie Leaves the House, I've changed approximately three times i think which i haven't done in about three months and i now look like i'm going to work slash maybe a funeral but i'm just gonna roll with this i'm wearing the zara dress it's a bodycon midi dress and i really like the cut around here zara do the like racer cuts really really well it's very flattering i'm wearing my Saint Laurent Reef Gauche bag just because it's a long day out I've got a makeup bag in here literally everything that I could ever need because I forget things that I need now because I'm just not used to actually venturing out for more than like 20 minutes I'm wearing my YSL sandals my makeup has been kept pretty minimal I've got a Dior lip gloss on Fenty makeup look I will kind of link to a recent makeup look in the info box and then I also even though it's super super warm today I have also got my cardigan just in case things get a little bit chilly i'm taking this with me and i really like the way like this cardigan really offsets like a longer midi dress which can often look quite smart the uh, cardigan just really helps to casual it down i think it's very cute yeah that is my leaving the house ootd number one change my mind i'm wearing these trainers <laughs> let's see how many more times i can change in the next five minutes good afternoon everybody it has been a lovely sunny morning so far i'm just about to make some lunch i've been pottering around in the garden so i have a little bit of a mismatched outfit on i'm wearing a bikini which i think is from asos let me show you so this is my asos bikini i originally threw this on because i'm waiting for my tan to develop so a bikini was just the easiest option and then i wanted to potter around in my garden so i've just thrown on this skirt from and other stories and then i'll probably wear these sandals when i pop out to the shop and i'll just throw a little t-shirt on over the top of this but yeah that is my kind of like half outfit for today but i'm actually going out for dinner tonight so i'll be back with you then to show you my outfit of the evening because i'm going out for dinner for the first time in four five over five months wow so yeah i'll be back with you in a bit is my outfit of the evening for dinner very summery very holiday -y, but it's that vibe today it's so nice and warm i'm wearing a zara nude bodysuit these are the 12.99 ones which i love for those wondering i'm not wearing a bra underneath it but i think in a vlog i will show you i think i found one that just about does not show and it's fully like strapless no underwire no nothing i'll link it in case you want to see it but if you guys uh maybe i'll put it on insta stories i don't know let me know how you want to see it i might save it to a highlight on my instagram stories but it literally just about you have to just kind of like position it but once it's there it tends to like stay and yeah i think it's a great bra and for those of you that really wanted a bra to wear under this i think this might be the one and then i'm also wearing these and other stories shorts just pop my hair in a ponytail nice and easy nice and cool couldn't be faffing about with like hair down or anything like that i've got my ysl sandals on and then i'm also taking this bag because i carry everything including my kitchen sink around with me but yeah i like it and it's got a shirt in it which i will show you now for if i get a bit chilly so white linen shirt nice and easy it could be a better match with the shorts i feel like the shorts are a creamy white this is a very kind of cool white so yeah they're slightly different but it's not too bad and it's just for literally like throwing over my shoulders if i get a bit chilly whilst we're eating very very cute very summery very holiday vibes um i'm really in that mood today so yeah that is my o t n t e evening or night let's go with the evening so i will see you guys tomorrow Good morning everybody it is friday morning i am in my first outfit of the day today and it is my first because we actually stayed at ryan's house last night so i always take like an outfit with me just in case i want to not wear the same like sweats that i normally normally i wear like my sweats here's in the evening and sometimes i'll wear them coming back home and then i'll change but i actually bought a separate outfit last night because i just fancied wearing like i knew i kind of wanted to wear this and we had some errands to run this morning so it worked out perfectly but yeah i have an outfit there that i'm going to change into this afternoon i didn't actually end up filming any outfits yesterday because i actually wore like a million different outfits because i shot some instagram photos in my home so uh yeah i was kind of in and out of outfits and then just in my sweats in the evening completely forgot to just even show you that 
I'm trying, even if it's like the most comfy at home outfit at the moment, I'm still trying to show you, but last night I just completely forgot. So you're gonna get quite a few outfits, I think in one today, because if I change this evening, I will show you that as well. Yeah, this is what I'm wearing today. So I've got my white linen shirt. I have a sports top on underneath, which I've actually been wearing like fairly on and off this week. I haven't actually done a workout in it yet, <laughs> but I've just been throwing it on because it looks really cute. And you guys will know that I love my girlfriend cycle shorts i've been wearing it with some new leggings as well which i'm still road testing i don't know if i love i don't know if i'm in love with the leggings which is kind of annoying because good leggings are just so hard to find and i'm still wearing the same h&m ones that i've been wearing for i don't even know how long now but they have lasted so so well it's only now getting to the point where i'm like these are going to start like bobbling if i don't find something else to kind of pop into the mix and everything is just very shiny so not loving but i am waiting for the girlfriend full-on leggings in black to come back in stock because i actually think they'll be they'll be the ones but until then i'll be in my cycle shorts for the rest of the summer this is from a brand called the upside i will link to it i wear a small for reference i was deliberating over whether to get a small or a medium so glad i went for the small it always confuses me when the models are wearing smalls because i'm like I don't look like that. But it's also really hard to tell because they just stick the models in whatever they have most of the time. So it's just, it's always a bit tricky to tell whether it's actually tight on the model or not. But for me, it works perfectly. It is very booby, but I'm just in that phase of the month right now where I'm very booby. I was not like that for like the past, actually the past week I've been like this and they're just, they're gonna get bigger and bigger. And then a couple of weeks they'll be manageable again. But right now they're like, hi. Hi world, no matter what, literally no matter what I wear. So I've got a linen shirt over the top just to kind of dress it up a little bit. And uh, just shoved my hair up this morning because normally I'll take extensions to Ryan's and like pull my hair back into a ponytail and have a long ponytail. Couldn't be bothered to say uh, we have the carpet fitters in. So it's just like one of those mornings where I was like, I'm gonna need to get up and just like scrape it back. But this helped me to just feel a little bit more presentable. I didn't want to be in my sweats. But yeah, so that is the main bulk of the outfit. I then have my Chanel sliders on, which is just the easiest shoe to wear. And I love them with a pair of cycling shorts. Um, I just think this outfit works really, really nicely. So that is my outfit of the morning. And then this is gonna be my outfit for the afternoon i think i'll probably throw whatever sliders on with this that i feel like but this dress is from h&m if you haven't seen it it was in a recent haul which i will link sadly it already has a hole in it because nala got a bit stressed out in the car yeah she gripped onto my leg and uh yeah so i managed to tie it up but sadly i have a hole in it but yeah i'm gonna wear that and then these little earrings. I think these are from Topshop a fair while ago. I haven't worn them in ages because I actually lost the backing to one of them, but I found a spare pair of earrings that have like similar backings. But yeah, I decided to wear these today in comparison to my usual hoops purely because these are a lot lighter, which I haven't always loved about them, but they are just that little bit easier to wear. They're less heavy on my ears. So I'm gonna give those a wear today. And I think the pattern on them just kind of works really nicely. It adds a bit more texture to an already very textured dress. And I like mixing different textures so yeah that's what i'm going to be wearing i'm also wearing this perfume this morning this is flora mortis from all saints all saints fragrances are the best they're like very affordable and they don't smell like a high street fragrance and especially for the price of them i think they retail for around i want to say 59 pounds that could be wrong but somewhere round about that and they do not smell like that they smell almost like a tom ford type scent um not with the depth some of them with the depth not all of them this one is one of the lighter ones out of the uh, collection i would say there's a leather skies one which oh my god it's gorgeous and a very tom fordy type scent and then also incense city which is very similar my favorites are flora mortis and sunset riot they do not smell like high street fragrances and they last so well and everyone always comments on them because they are the most unique fragrances i love them so i'll link those in the info box if you want to go check them out i've been gifted mine because i've done press trips with them but i would happily Buy them over and over and over again i've actually bought lots of sets of minis in the past as well because i love having minis of them in my handbag so yeah love the brand that is what i'm wearing today so this is my little outfit of the day i've just turned my mirror because i was sick of being half lit it's literally the worst lighting when i put my mirror in this corner but here perfect i have gone for the h&m dress like i showed you i've also thrown this mango cardigan on over the top just because it's not the warmest day today this dress is fairly like warming because it is more of a knit material although it's like a loose knit it still doesn't let it breathe too much to the point where you're chilly but i thought i'd just throw this on anyway just in case i get a little bit more cold throughout the day or if i'm sitting at my laptop i normally get a little bit chilly at the moment i've been moving around just like pottering i've been trimming back some of my plants so i'm warm 
I've been doing chores, I'm warm, but I feel like I'll probably sit at some point and then be a little bit more chilly. So I've just thrown this on. I love this cardigan. And I'm so sorry that this cardigan is old because I always get questions on it. I'm sure they will bring back something like it very, very soon though, because I actually got this a couple of autumns ago. <laughs> it's definitely not like the right season for cardigan shopping at the moment, but I think they will bring this back very, very soon. Like I would think end of August, September time, you'll start seeing bits like this come back onto Mango. I've gone for my Chanel sliders just because they were here. The hair is just going to be down and whatever it wants to be today. Look at that hair. I can't wait to see my hairdresser next week. I'm really interested to see what is gonna go down. It might be a case of just giving it a tone and maybe the condition will just need a little like trim, but I might need a bit more taken off. We might need to kind of add a few highlights in. I'm not really sure. I'm very interested to see what they say. My ideal would be basically like this mid color here all the way down so we'll tone this very very light bit like I really don't like how white my hair is there I think I suit much more of a like dark honey blonde so I would like to be that the whole way down but I'm having some extensions put back in just because I was gifted them ages ago so we shall see what happens but for today I'm quite enjoying just letting it do its own thing I've had to put a lot of hair oil in it though yeah really excited for next week I'll be bringing you all with me we'll see what happens we'll end up with a bob who knows? This is my OOTD. This is a little bit see-through, more than I realised. It's kind of annoying, but I'm just in the house, so we'll roll with it. But yeah, I love this dress. It's so cute. So it is the evening. We are accompanied by the background sound of Ryan playing PlayStation. I have finished doing a lot of admin, and now I've just thrown this on really quickly because it's quite cloudy and chilly now, and I need to venture outside for dog food. So <laughs> this is what I'm wearing this evening. I'm wearing a, where is this from? Colin Terry t-shirt. I don't think they make these anymore because it's got this YSL logo on it and I don't think legally they're allowed to do that. So I feel like they weren't allowed to carry on making these. I'm also wearing my dual sunglasses and then these leggings which are from Varley. I have the worst bloat right now so that is how we are working. With these but these actually i don't love them they are kind of high-waisted but they almost slip down a little bit whilst i wear them which is kind of annoying but they also have this seam i think you can see ignore my washing in the background it keeps interfering and i keep seeing it and then i'm like momentarily distracted by it i need to put it away that's the last thing on my admin list today anyway it has this seam which goes around like that and i just don't actually think it's the most flattering place it comes down the front you can't really see it on camera but it comes down here which is exactly where your bloat would sit so it basically emphasizes it it literally curves around your bloat and i'm like no one wants that why would you design things like that so i've decided that these leggings were probably designed by someone that doesn't have that issue and then i'm wearing my chanel sliders again i really need to if i'm going to carry on wearing these i need to go and get my toenails sorted because they're not cute. But yeah, that is it for my outfits today. I'm gonna to be back with you tomorrow showing you my little Zara order that I placed whilst I was like having my week off. I'm really enjoying the things that are in it. And some of them I've already like tried on and I've got little Instagram pics off, but before it goes live, I thought I would show you everything. So I'm gonna talk you through that tomorrow and I'll probably pick something from it to wear. I mean, I've worn most of it. Yeah, I've worn most of it. There's a lot of midi dresses, so I've been really enjoying that vibe. But yeah, I'll be back with you tomorrow to go through that. Side note, makeup has held up really well today. Do we want a tutorial? Yes or no? Let me know. Good morning, everybody. Today is Monday. I had a lovely weekend where I literally wore, I think I wore Ryan's tracksuits all weekend. Plural, I washed. But yeah, I really didn't wear much this weekend apart from like all the Saints tracksuit bottoms. So sorry if the outfits were a bit sparse. But today I thought I would show you my outfit and i'm also going to show you i have a few bits i picked up from zara and i did show i wasn't originally it wasn't a big haul order wow such a youtuber so i wasn't originally going to show this but i popped it on stories and everyone was like i want to see so providing you with the goods but we'll get on with this outfit first so this dress is from zara like i said i've paired it with my chloe sandals it's like a knitted dress i don't know if you can see the texture of it there it's really lovely it's got like a very thin knitted straps but it's like quite a high neckline which i think is really nice just put my hair in a ponytail i'm making the most of the ponytail this week because i have a hairdresser's appointment on thursday luckily this video will be going up on thursday so you won't see me in my tracky bottoms once again because that is what i'll be wearing because i'm going to be sat in that chair all day because of the way they structure things now i literally am there and I don't think they're doing anyone else's hair. So I literally like, I'm there 
for the day. So I will be wearing something very, very comfy. But yeah, I love the color of this dress. It's this gorgeous teal color. As you can see, I've got something else in this color as well, which is a very different style and fit, but still amazing. So that is kind of my outfit for today. I'll probably throw on my cardigan with this just for warmth. But I will show you some of the other bits. There's a lot of, it's basically all dresses and I'm not mad about it. Also, if anyone is wondering what bag I'm gonna be using today, I'll probably use this one from Givenchy. It's the Antigona mini in the croc effect i love this i love this bag so much it's kind of getting to the point where obviously with the taking out of masks and stuff my and my vlogging camera and a few bits i actually need a larger bag some days than my fendi camera bag but i don't always want to take one of my tote bags out so this is kind of doing me quite well in the meantime so these are the bits i picked up from Zara. I've got a lot of midi dresses here because I'm just really enjoying wearing them at the moment. You will have seen the black one at some point last week. But I also picked up the nude and the green as well. I love the green. I think the green will look so nice with like a black sweater kind of style thrown on over the top and some like trainers, chunky trainers, that kind of vibe. And then we have this dress, which I have very briefly tried on, but it is lovely. It's this gorgeous terracotta colour. It's like a smock style, but in a midi maxi length. I'm not really sure. It's like that in between kind of length but very very long on me and then we have this dress which i again tried on just so briefly just to check and it's like a i want to say like a grecian style dress i don't know if that's the right term for it but it is really really beautiful it's got this gorgeous kind of like ruching around the waist it's just stunning and again in that gorgeous teal color it's really really beautiful so i got we'll just do sizing quickly this is a small and it was 25.99 small 19 pounds which is an absolute bargain i highly recommend that one it's gorgeous small 19 pounds i don't know if this one i think i've worn have i worn this one yeah that one is a small and this one is a small as well still got the loop but no tag so yeah i will show you those you've already seen the black one but i'll show you all of the rest of these on this no. is the new dress i've just styled it with my white company white linen shirt i think this works really nicely to throw over the top and kind of use to give you a little bit more warmth in the summertime but i'll show you it with it off i've kept my clothes sandals on so i feel like it works quite nicely with these but you could also go trainers if you wanted to but yeah this is what they look like i love the fit it's almost like the zara bodies but in like bodycon dress which i really like and i'm wearing a wonder bra i feel like i might have talked about this earlier in the video but i'm wearing a wonder bra strapless bra underneath which works perfectly it's got like no underwire in it or anything so it's just really really nice and easy and these can be especially this color can be a little bit difficult to wear without a bra because it's just ever so slightly too see through so that can be a little bit annoying but this works nicely it shows a little bit but not too badly i don't really mind i'd rather just have that little bit of extra coverage so yeah that is the new one so this is the green bodycon dress i've been trying not to wear these too much this week so that this video isn't just a what i wore in a week bodycon zara midi dress edition but i really really love these they're so nice and easy to wear this one i particularly like with my Gucci trainers because they've got a little strip of green on them which is kind of cute and like I said I think this one would work really nicely with like a black crop top thrown over the top and the thing I also really like about these is that I don't have to hang them I don't have the most hanging space at the moment and these aren't super creasy just because of the material of them so they fold really really nicely and fit away in my drawers which is ideal because I am running out of rail space and as you can imagine three of those like I can't even hang them on the same hanger like I can my strappy dresses so these are really really nice and easy to store as well which makes me super happy and it's kind of good for when you're on like a long drive or anything like that like if you're having a little staycation and you want to pack things in your suitcase these are like not likely to be super creased like a lot of other dresses so they're kind of ideal this dress is 100 one of my favorites oh, i just love it it's so nice and easy to wear i love how floaty it is because this is like one of those amazing like summer barbecue i'm about to eat a lot of food kind of dresses because i don't even have to like hold anything in I'm fully bloated and you wouldn't be able to tell if I hadn't told you. So yeah, love this. I think this is going to be a real staple for me for the rest of the summer. It's meant to be really nice and warm for the rest of the week. So I definitely think this is going to be one that I'll wear. It's so cute as well and an absolute bargain. If you're looking for ways to style this, it would look really cute with a straw hat or even like I've got a tan fedora there. Obviously I can't show you because my hair is in a ponytail. But I think I might have a little picture of me wearing a straw hat, which I'll insert 
somewhere here. It does look very cute, it's such a vibe. So yeah, I would definitely say hats look cute with this, cardigans, my cream cardigan I would wear with this, more than like a crop jumper because this is quite loose. So I would kind of wear a cardigan a bit off shoulder or you could go leather jacket. I think with a lot of these, you could get away with a leather jacket and that would be really cute as well. This is gorgeous and it is the perfect length. Like it literally just hits the floor. So with certain sandals, I feel like it would just be literally like that perfect perfect length it's absolutely gorgeous the one thing i would say is that the side comes down quite low so if you like to be able to wear a bra with most of your dresses this one it might be a bit tricky but if you are a shorter girl this is ideal because i'm five foot two so it will just about be all right if you have a special occasion that you kind of wanted to pair this with heels this would then work perfectly and if you're taller it's just going to be a great length so yeah it's a really really lovely dress like i said i love this detail around the waist and i love the way it like ties at the back it's just so pretty i love dresses like this they're one of my all-time favorite styles of dresses i just feel like this is like a classic that you just can't get bored of so yeah really really gorgeous my only thing is where am i going to wear this because i would normally wear this on a holiday and i've realized that that's probably not going to happen this year which is so sad so that is my little outfit of the day and mini zara haul i need to go clean this up now so i'll see you guys again tomorrow bye why am i buying i never buy in these bits that's so weird anyway roll on tomorrow it is tuesday today i'm not really doing very much so my outfit is quite simple but i really like it and i think you guys will like it too but firstly i need to give a little shout out to what is on my lips i got sent this from mac let me show you look at this color this is the most gorgeous nude and the color of it is called let me see if i can get this to focus because it's tiny look at that shade name i just love it it's so cute so yeah that is what is on my lips today in addition to oh we've got some baby hair action going on here in addition to a shed ton of lip liner so yeah might have gone a bit overboard but yeah oh well so this is today's outfit i've got my h&m shorts which you guys will have seen from a recent vlog and then i also have the shirt which is from Topshop, i believe and it's like meant to be a uh, kind of like a button up and then it's a tie waist and the waist sits quite a little bit lower on me but what i did was just undid all the buttons and tied it up here just because then it sits a little bit more on my waist because my body length is just that much shorter that things just sit at a really awkward length and my hips are here so if it sits here I just kind of look like a cardboard box so yeah I've just tied it a little bit higher and if you want you can kind of have more like cleavage out if you want but I've just like left it like that and I also think this would be a really cute kind of top even if it's just a similar top or even just you know like a shirt in this style would look really cute with like high-waisted black bikini bottoms I think that would look so cute so yeah I've paired that with my H&M shorts like I said and then I've just got my YSL sandals which I have had for so long now on my feet and I'm probably gonna when I go to good old Sainsbury's in a bit I'm just gonna take this so that I can put all of my shopping in there so yeah that's about it as you can imagine it's a really fun filled day today full of trips to the supermarket probably gonna wear my Ray-Bans with this outfit I feel like these are the most versatile sunglasses they just go with any outfit and they aren't too like too much of a vibe you know they're quite a classic so I think they just fit with this the best and i've just added a chain which is from tamara clinics brand so shady i believe i got these off another pair of sunglasses that she kind of gifted me so these were gifted oh my god what is this baby hair why are you there what are you doing so yeah i really like the combo of the chain and the sunglasses they work really really well together actually so yeah i think that's gonna be today's outfit what was your fave guys let me know in the comments below so i think that is going to be it for this what i wore in a week i really hope you enjoyed it as i said please do let me know your favorite outfit in the comments and i'll see you guys again very very soon more specifically on monday we are back to mondays and thursdays it's good to be back i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys again very very soon goodbye